one eternity later. Physics behind the heating of an electric iron. First off, let's understand what are the common parts we would find in an electric iron. Sole plate. The sole plate is a slab of thick and triangular shaped piece of iron. It forms the very base of the electric iron. Pressure plate. The pressure plate is the top plate that follows the same shape of the sole plate. Cover plate. This part is made of a thin iron sheet and is found on the top of the base plate. Handle. The handle is another important part of an electric iron. It can be wooden or plastic. A good handlebar makes the ironing a breeze. Some other important parts of the electric iron include thermostat, bimetallic strip and heating element. The details of these will be discussed further in the video. What is the role of a thermostat in an electric iron? It silently tracks the temperature and with the help of other electronics it is able to turn the power on and off. It's probably the most important component in iron, as its main function is to make sure that the iron doesn't get too hot if left unattended for a period of time. When electric current is passed through a coil in an electric iron, the coil becomes very hot. Through conduction, the heat is transferred to the flat base plate, which is then used to iron our clothes. However, the heating element continues to get hotter as far as there is the supply of electricity from the power supply. This results into a lot of energy wastage, clothes ruin and in the worst case scenario, nasty accidents. At this point, thermostat comes in. Because it is important that the iron doesn't get heated up to a temperature that is hazardous. This bimetallic strip is made up of two different types of metals. Here I have taken as brass and iron with different coefficients of expansion that are bonded together. This means that in the presence of heat they expand differently. This bimetallic strip is connected to a contact spring through small pins. This is the contact spring. At moderate temperature the contact point remains in physical contact with the bimetallic strip. However, when the temperature of the iron exceeds a certain limit, then the strip begins to bend towards the metal with a lower coefficient of expansion. As a result, the strip ceases to be physically connected to the contact point. The circuit then opens and the current ceases to flow. Figure A is a circuit under normal temperature and B when the iron becomes too hot. Given that the circuit remains open for some time, then the temperature of the iron drops and the strip acquires its original shape. So in a way, a bimetallic strip works like a bridge to connect or disconnect the circuit to regulate the heating. This is the heating element of the electric iron. The heating element consists of nichrome wire. Heating element is placed between the top that is the pressure plate and base plate that is the sole plate. The electric iron works on the heating principle. The heating principle states that when current is passed through the wire, it gets heated up. This is due to high resistance. The supply is connected to the heating element. As the resistance is very high, it resists the flow of current and hence it leads to heating. In this way, electric energy is converted to heat energy. This nichrome wire is covered in mica sheet. Mica is a good conductor of heat and a bad conductor of electricity. This prevents electricity from passing to the iron plate. Iron plate is the cover plate which covers all the parts of the iron. 
cover plate is placed on top of the base plate. The heat gets conducted further from the cover plate to the base plate. This is how clothes are ironed. Thank you for watching.